Hey, it's Mr. Joe, and welcome to the sample presentation for this quarter's Explore and Share project. The big topic is fractals, and, as you know, each of you needs to come up with your own essential question. How are fractals related to fill in the blank? It is your job to fill in the blank. One of the coolest creatures in the world is the Nautilus, because of its unique spiral shell. The spiral shell is one of the many examples of fractals found in nature. My essential question is, how are fractals related to the spiral shells of nautiluses? I felt like the best way to answer this question was to break into three smaller questions. Where are spiral shells found? How do they form and why? Why are they considered fractals? Obviously, because of the title of this presentation, we know that a nautilus has a spiral shell. But I want to take a look at the family of creatures related to the nautilus first. The nautilus belongs to the mollusk family. Mollusks have three main qualities. They are invertebrates, so they have no spine. They have soft, squishy bodies. And they love damp, wet environments. Pause the video and discuss the following question. There are some mollusks that don't produce shells, such as squid, octopi, slugs, and perhaps the less familiar but beautiful sea slugs. Then there are shelled mollusks such as mussels, clams, and snails. We're going to focus on the nautilus shell. It has some special features that we will get to see in a minute. But above all, the shell of a nautilus has a clear, easy to see structure that will allow us to study fractals. This brings me to my second question. How do nautilus shells form and why? Take a look at the pictures. One photo shows whole, unbroken nautilus shells. The other shows a cross section of a nautilus shell, or one that has been cut in half. Pause the video and use the photos to answer the following questions. Let's talk about some of the details. First, I'm sure you notice the different chambers or sections of the shell. Each section represents a period of the nautilus growth. The chambers are filled with gas that allow the nautilus to float. This is called buoyancy. The biggest chamber is where the nautilus actually lives. One of the main purposes of the shell is to protect the nautilus from predators. As the nautilus continues to grow, it builds more shell at the entrance. Then it forms another chamber wall behind it. This is important because this is how the shell grows in a fractal pattern. So why is the nautilus shell considered a fractal? Let's review what a fractal is first. A fractal has three qualities. Repeating shapes and patterns, self-similarity, and repeating angle rotation. How does this shell fit the qualities of a fractal? Pause the video and take some time to think and talk about it. Let's look at the repeating shape and pattern. You probably noticed the repeating moon shape. These moons are all geometrically similar, and they grow outward in the spiral pattern. The geometrically similar chambers fit the quality of self-similarity. For example, we can compare the length ratios of old chambers to new chambers. Here are the lengths. We can write a ratio of new chamber length to old chamber length, like so. You can see that the chambers are proportional and grow with a consistent scale factor of approximately 1.1, meaning the shell is self-similar. Finally, we can see how the shell fits the quality of repeating angle rotation. The three points of the angle are the two chamber corners and the very center of the shell. We can measure the angle using a protractor. It is about 23 degrees between the two chambers. If this shell is a fractal, then this measure will be roughly the same between every pair of chambers. Here, we can see that the degree of rotation is about 22 to 23 degrees each time. The shell meets the three big conditions for a fractal. Finally, go to the class website and watch the spiral construction video. You are going to make your own spiral fractals and test to see if it is self-similar using your knowledge of similarity, and fractals from earlier classes.